And of course, your feud with Triple H, everybody remembers. That was a that was a walk in the park. You know, me and uh, Hunter, we were together in WCW, and we had so much fun doing the the build up to the hog pen match, and uh, so many good matches in overseas with him. And he was a trooper because he took the slop every night. I mean, we had to wash our gear every night, and. Bless his heart, he made it through it, but it was sloppy. And I saw that hog pen match, and it looked like his back got all cut up. What are your memories of that match? Well, <clears throat> you know, today is 26 years to the day that we had the hog pen match. They just put it on WWE, put our match out, a uh, portion of it out on uh, Instagram, the WWE Network. So it's a. Uh, and then I had this to do tonight, so it was sort of ironic the same day. And uh, But I was telling uh, him earlier that, uh, you know, Vince come up with the match and what he wanted, and we had to build had, – they had to come in and build the hog pen, and then they got a farmer to bring hogs in, and uh, he said, this is what I want, this is how long you guys come up with it. So, you know, me and Hunter had just been up there together – not too long. We came in about the same time and we were like, well, I hope we can pull this off. So at the end of the match, when we got back to the locker room, Vince was waiting on us at his, in his office. And he said, I cannot believe you guys done that. Uh, that was a hell of a match. And of course it went to the slammies that year and all the boys thought it was going to be a ha ha match, you know, just shits and giggles. But, uh, we beat the piss out of each other. I was sore for two days and I threw him into the metal. He threw me into the metal gate, just a panel gate, cheap gate. But when I hit it, I was three and a quarter. It just, it buckled. So it left a sharp edge. So when I threw him into the gate, he hit the sharp edge. He got 15 stitches and uh, I didn't know he was cut till I was throwing hog shit on him after the, the press uh, so we were afraid he was going to come up with some new swine disease or something, but, uh, he made it through it, got 15 stitches, always teasing him, tell him I scarred him for life. So it's all good. <laughs>